Hey, this is Brian Hegney, Instructor of Communication at High Point University. So, we just created our splash screen for the game. We've also created our game icon. And along the way, we also set our maps up here at the top, our maps to start on the Hegney Start Map and we set packaging for shipping. And so now, with that set, we're gonna actually try to package this up. And if you go to File, Package Project, if we were gonna do a mobile game for Android, we'd come here, or iOS, we'd do here. But we're gonna go to Windows, Windows 64-bit. Now, when well, what I'm doing is I'm hoping that this packages up, so if I click here, I'm going to need to find a place where I can uh, actually build it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put this in, um, I'll create a folder called package. Package. Select that folder. And I'm going to click this show output log that happens on the bottom here. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take but I am going to just pause this video and let it go. Hopefully it should work really soon. Um, but if I have any issues, they'll be in yellow or red, depending on how severe the problems are. Um, okay, wish me luck. Okay, so this failed to package. Okay, see? Unknown cook failure, so it failed. Now, it could be these yellow things, but I'm, I'm kind of worried about these red displays. So all you need to do, now you don't need to understand everything here, but if you look at the, the text, just see if you can read it, right? Unable to determine expected signature, some kind of event. And this is under Stevenson map, right? But all of these maps that are on here, it's because we kind of, um, we copied and pasted them and we never quite finished them. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I could fix them right now or I could delete them. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and delete them. And so I'm going to delete all the maps that are not necessary. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause it and do that. Alright, so I went back into my project and I deleted all of that stuff. I'm going to save all. I've deleted all of the maps that I'm not even using that were the problems and I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to package this one more time. Yep, same thing. Package, select that folder and now it's going to start again um, and hopefully that will work. Let's see, sorry. Yeah. And again, I'm going to pause this and see what happens. Little, little ding, and or you didn't, but I did. I heard a little ding, and that meant it was fine. And so there are some warnings, right? It's just there's um there's an image that evidently is not linked, but I don't use it in the game that I'm actually working on. So maybe that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do is minimize this, minimize this, minimize that, minimize that, and I'm going to go into Fun Revived, Look in Package, and it creates this Windows No Editor, and so I'm going to click on that. Hey, look! Look at the little icon. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. I'm going to double-click that funrevive.exe, and it should open up. Ooh, look at that fun revived. Oh, it almost wasn't even long enough to see it, but let's see there. Click that, and here I am. And there's the game. Now, the annoying thing about this is you'll realize if I hit escape, nothing's happening. So this is where working in the editor is a little different than actually playing the game. Because in the editor, escape would close the game down here but we really want that escape button to you know open up a pause menu because that's what we really realize it for or that's what we do in games so um oftentimes what people do is they have escape they have little overrides to 
um, in Unreal Editor so that they can hit escape um, or they, they switch it right before they cook it I guess is they'll, they'll say uh, set the escape button to open up the pause menu um, and because now it's like I'm hitting escape and nothing's happening because I haven't mapped anything to the escape button so what I'm gonna do is have to do alt tab and then hover my cursor over this and click that X right there there we go so that is it um, the net the last thing I guess after this is just to note that this Windows no editor is just an annoying uh, folder. I don't I don't really want it necessarily. Um, I want to just have an executable file. So the next video is going to be about what software to use um, and how we use um, which which is it? Uh, we're going to use. Install Forge. Install Forge, where are you? We're going to use a software called Install Forge to create an installer. Okay. Um, that's it. Bye. Have a good day.